fog seems to be growing heavier. Memories of a podcast. Yes. A recollection of my memory slowly returns. A team and I, chosen by an entity evil as the devil, requests of us to discuss its realms and its inhabitants. Could, could it be a dream? Nope. It's actually our next podcast. Cue that intro. <laughs> Welcome to the lunch table, everybody. In today's episode, we will be talking about the famous 4v1 multiplayer horror game, Dead by Daylight. With me today is Daniel. Oh, no. Kenny. Hey. Sinric. Hi. And Kalichi. What up, what up, what up? All right, so why don't we start off with you, Kalichi? Tell us about your killer. My killer <clears throat> is the Trapper. Evan McMillan. And let me tell you a little about the man himself, okay? Ooh. Evan McMillan idolized his father. And him and his father ran an estate, you know, a tightly friend business. So they ran with an iron fist, no dilly dallying, okay? All, all, all business, all work, time is money, okay? Yeah. Well, as, his, as his father, Archie McMillan, started slowly losing his mental health, started deteriorating, Evan became his enforcer, doing whatever he needed because, you know, people were coming after him for his money, you know? So yeah, yeah. he became... No, I know. Uh, Agreed. Yeah, yeah. So he became his enforcer, slowly becoming the worst mass murderer in modern history, even leading, leading hundreds of men, able-bodied men, into a cave before deadening explosives and sealing them to their fate. Evan oh. McMillan, the trap himself, there's no record, there's no record, of what, there's no record of whatever happened to him. He's what missing. But his father, on the other, on the, his father, on the other hand, was found in a basement, locked up in his own warehouse, starved and abandoned. Yeah. So wow, it do be like that. Where's the traps come in? Um, yeah. I truly do not know. Oh well, <laughs> yeah, no. okay. I'll be. I'll be yeah. It'd make more sense if you use explosives, but like I guess it's kind of OP in, in Game of Thrones. Yeah. In Dead by Daylight. You just landmine. You just step on one thing. You're just immediately <laughs> dead. Your legs go you're off. Like you're at Jake Park, and suddenly half the map just goes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's a trapper for you. No traps in his lore, but that's his choice of weapons. He he couldn't have at least been like a hunter or something in his backstory. He could have at least used his traps to kill the, his victim, but no. That's I mean, so maybe he did, but like it doesn't. There's no reference of it. It just said he, he killed people in a tunnel. Also, his name is Evan. Yeah, man, that's some that's some weak stuff. I just want to like. I'm just saying, Evan hey. is a weak killer name. Kind of name in, is Evan. Hey man, in <laughs> the, killer. In Evan's defense, he was the first killer made, and you need so, a name. Don't say it's Evan's defense. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> protect my man Evan <laughs> okay you're the first killer made they had they were, they were, they were on limited time okay the game had to come out with a limited budget alright let's quickly make some lore they're like just, just make him, him him and his dad go crazy you know like I right, cool you know what a, you know what a, you know what a sick name is Evan <laughs> so he's threatening man Evan's such a you know you watch out for Evan you know <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Thanks. I I know he's gonna get me because with a name like Evan, it's inevitable. Evan sounds like that. <laughs> Evan sound like that, that neighborhood kid. You're like, why would you hang out with Evan? I don't like Evan. <laughs> Evan's weird. <laughs> Evan's different. Evan's the weird kid on the street. That it's like, do I have to hang out with him, mom? <laughs> <laughs> and then this is how he turns out when nobody hangs out with him. Yeah, I'm gonna trap these guys to make him my friends. Yeah. You know what I mean? Trap him well, with explosives. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I'm caught in a bear! <laughs> <laughs> also, oh my. I, I feel like it's also probably because it was um, Dead by Daylight's like, first killer. So, I mean, I don't think they probably thought you know, how, how famous true. this game would get. So, That's true. Maybe, I said it. Because if you look, like, I mean, like, he, he's one of the killers that has, like, the shortest backstory. And then as 
go down the list, like each one keeps getting like progressively longer. I feel like when they made this story, they're like, no one's gonna look into it. <laughs> no one gives a damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no one, one cares. Care. <laughs> uh, oh, Next yeah. killer has like a novel about them. <laughs> honestly, honestly. Actually, so funny. Like, just like, you know, it, it is really interesting reading through their backstories, like, you know, when you take the time. But it's so funny to see how more other killers got more <laughs> care than others. Like, yeah, yeah just, just give him Evan and give him like a small backstory. <laughs> you, 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 you put that down, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Evan, no. <laughs> this is my bear trip. <laughs> but dad. But dad, you wouldn't let me use the explosives. <laughs> Anyway, oh, stop, stop talking about Evan. I don't like it. Well, that's a chopper for you. My killer may have a short backstory, but Dan, I'm pretty sure yours is um. I don't think it's new, but it's it's more. It's, it came out a lot, a lot after. Well, it's a DLC character, after. character, so but yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it's the plague. Actually, I think she came out in 2019. I think she was out mm-hmm. in March. You know, oh, before the yeah. before the world entered the the apocalypse, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, that's the clown! <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> They're playing my theme song. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, her actual name is I think Adiris is how you pronounce it. Adiris or Adiris? Right. I don't know. Is she Greek? Uh, she's Babylonian. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's Babylonian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that was my next guess. Yeah, <laughs> is she Greek? Nah, she's obviously like Babylonian. Yeah, you don't know uh, you don't know Babylonian names. It's glitchy. Can't, can't say I do. <laughs> All right, so she she kind of has a little bit of a sad backstory because she was like a child, right? And then she was just dropped off by her family at uh, the temple of Purgation, right? Are they do Are they doing Babylon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As you do in Babylon. <laughs> Just a regular day. Yeah. So she was like super religious and she always believed like, oh, you know, life sucks, but my my God, they'll bail me out. I, they got plans for me, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> As, As they do. Am, I, I'm prompting you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Watch for the cues. Dino, but, Dino aren't, aren't we all... Knowing about the Babylonian lifestyle, so, so we already, oh, we already know am. about I'm that. Try, I'm, I'm trying to teach. I'm trying to teach my pupils about the Babylonian culture. <laughs> Te- teach us your ways, Daniel. All right, all right. So what she did was like, I guess she like cleaned and stuff. But they eventually gave her the task of you, you know, like incense, like when you burn incense. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. So when they were doing like cleansings on people that were brought in because they were sick. She was in charge of like holding the incense and like burning it, and that's where her weapon comes from, right? Because she carries that around in the game. Oh, oh, hey. yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so one day, um, a plague befell the land, right? And uh, all the priests where she lived start like dying off. So she's like the only one left that basically knows how to run the cleansings. And um, so she starts doing them and she starts getting like a following, right? Mm-hmm. And at one point, I don't know why. I, I mean, it's in the backstory. Uh, she sees a woman with, with the plague and she goes over and she cuts her toe off. And she's like, oh. <laughs> let, let okay, You guys don't do that when you're sick? You guys don't do that when you're sick? <laughs> I always do that when I'm sick. I always cut my toe off. <laughs> She's like, here, here. L- let me cut my toe off real quick and I'll get back to you, okay? <laughs> yeah, I, it, it feels feel bad. But yeah, when everyone saw her cut her toe off, they're like, yeah, that's cool. I'm, I'm going to follow you now. As the Babylonians <laughs> usually do. Yeah. I mean, obviously, this is just basic Babylonian culture. I mean, it's it makes total sense, you know. Like, I mean, when you're ill, the first thing you think of is cutting off a body part. I mean, that that that's you know. I mean, I I I mean, all you guys have heard, I'm sure all you guys have heard the saying, "Cut it out from the source." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the source must be the the toe, you know. That could be Babylonian saying, if I recall correctly. <laughs> so uh, 
yeah, Rip, uh, Adiris. One day she she herself gets sick and she's like really embarrassed and like she she feels I think that the gods are basically upset with her because she keeps praying and doing cleansings and she's not getting better. So she's like, oh, what am I doing wrong? So she decides. Has she cut off her toe yet? This is this is post toe cutting, okay? This is after the toe is gone. Toe's long gone. Uh, this really little trouble, piggy got cut out from the family. All right. I'm really in trouble. No toe. No, nothing's gonna. <laughs> I'm going to protect it now. Sans toe. So Ooh. actually, the toe isn't really important. Well, it's kind of important. <laughs> <laughs> So she leaves Babylon without a toe, and she ends up sick in a cave with some of her followers, and she's, like, dying. She's, like, choking on her own vomit. And right mm. before she dies, she says one last prayer, and then she's never heard from again. And presumably that's when the entity gets to her, and she goes to Dead by Daylight and then joins up with people like uh, Leatherface, and I'm not upset that he's broken or anything. And Evan. Yeah. And Evan. <laughs> and Evan. Man, Im- imagine, imagine the mighty Adiris going, and she's like, man, who else you got here? And the entity's like, well, I got this guy named Evan. <laughs> yeah. Or, like, or like, like, he tur- like, he t- uh, like, she just turns around and sees, like, the trap. He's like, hi, I'm Evan. She's like, please tell me there's someone else. They're like, how about that guy? And they point at the hillbelly. And she's like, oh, gosh. <laughs> He's like, Wait, beside ah! Evan is a how do you how to use bear traps 101 book. <laughs> he looks over I don't know how to do this. There's no detonators. Like, shut <laughs> up, Evan. He looks over at Hillbilly and it's like it's like uh, oh, so what do you can do? <laughs> Chainsaw. <laughs> Chainsaw, good. It's like oh, get, him, get him out of here. <laughs> oh, smacks him with like the incense burning like. <laughs> Wait, so. So because she was choking on her vomit, that's why she throws up on people? Yeah, so her power is Vile Purge, where she vomits on you, and that's basically where it comes from. She's infected with the plague, and she's, like, constantly vomiting because she's, like, dying. So she's giving a plague to other people, I see. Yeah, so really, all she needed was a good medical professional, like the nurse. (laughs) Oh. You like that segment? I love it. So that's a Paul the, Bart segue right there. Do what's a good thing about Ooh. the nurse? Is that, is, that, is that nobody in her life is named Evan? So that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, but Cynic, do you mind telling us what her name is? Yeah, her name is Sally. Wow. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Your name, Evan. Evan. Your name is Sally. <laughs> Still better than Evan. <laughs> So yeah, so her name was Sally Smithson, and basically she was, she was in the dream life, you know? Just her and her husband, in a house that her husband built for her, you know? A wooden house. Yeah. His, mm-hmm. her, her husband, which is named Andrew, which is also better than Evan, was a, was a lumberjack, and basically um, one day, Sally got news that her husband actually died in the job. So, w- without having well, any money to I bring... Died, he died cutting wood? A tree fell at him. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah probably. <laughs> Dropping yeah. logs. Yeah. Anyways, uh, anyways, uh, so, <laughs> so Sally didn't have enough money to bring food to eat and all, you know, but she had no forms of education or anything. So she just decided to take up a night shift at the, uh, the Crotus Pen Asylum, as many people do. You know? Yeah, yeah I've been there. You don't need any of this. Just come and go. You don't need any Wait, hold on, uh, hold on. Did, did, at least I've been there? Of course, Cordis Pen is my favorite. Uh, they have the best meat patties I've ever had. Yeah. Oh yeah. When I go yeah, hang out those, with Evan those... over there, it's my favorite. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Hillbilly's cutting the meat. You know what I'm talking about? Like. Yeah. No. <laughs> so. Uh... Oh, I know. The Gosh, man. The meat. Yeah, yeah, so she she's had years of uh, experience, basically, and she was there for like two decades. So Ooh. she's seen a lot of stuff go down. People being insane and all because it is an asylum. Yeah, and she's been she was basically uh, abused verbally and physically but with people, and she saw all insane stuff that was going on. And basically, she she went insane. She uh, she couldn't take it anymore, and she felt like she, she had to purif- purify everything. And uh, she 
did what she felt was necessary. And uh, basically, uh, in the morning after her shift was done, some staff arrived and they found over uh, 50 deceased patients. And uh, all of them had been choked out, apparently. And they saw Damn. Charlie, Sally in the corner uh, rocking back and forth in the chair. You know, I have, I have two comments. First of all, she's totally just Harley Quinn. Second of all, <laughs> if you're if you're gonna kill what you said fifty people, yeah, would you really choose choking as I your the exact? Thing. It takes a long time. No, it takes a long I'm time. Too. I'm like, you really killed fifty by choking them? Come on now. I, I feel I feel like I feel like a needle injected by something would be a lot faster. Yeah, yeah but, or I mean um, knife or something. I mean that like saw she carries around. I mean maybe like there's gotta be something. She, she choked them out. I, I, that's 50 thing, people yeah. how long was that night she's like here i've been holding my saw i'm gonna choke this guy out <laughs> oh man yeah like... but basically um they took her to an ambulance and the ambulance was supposed to go to the hospital apparently it was found crashed and uh all the staff and so the ambulance were dead except sally it was nowhere to be found <laughs> were the staff choked out <laughs> no nah, i think it's crashed i think that's what happened. <laughs> But anyways, uh, she choked a lot of people out. She must have some like really big arm muscles, you know. She's she she is she has thick arms. She's got she she's married to a lumberjack. She so skipped leg day just do arms, you know. That's why. Well, the nurse doesn't have legs, right? So yeah, she skips leg day and they just degenerate off. You know, they just crumple up and leave. <laughs> yeah, but basically, <laughs> uh, we're choking comes into the stories that in game when she uses the mori which is kind of filthy uh she chokes Yuck. out people she chokes out people and kills them off like that and also she has the ability to uh blink and teleport to her choosing in her direction she wants as well and that, ability like, that doesn't make any sense yeah exactly. there isn't any same as her story <laughs> well it's better than evan's story that's all i'm saying hey 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 no everything every don't make sense okay you yeah, it, cave, it makes those bear types really make sense, don't they? No, you, you lure into a cave, you then an explosive, they all die. Not choking 50 people in one night, that don't make no sense. <laughs> <laughs> at, at, least, at, le at least Evan kind of has some sort of like, you know, plan or, or like, you know, something exactly. that, you know, you know he lost your mind. <laughs> yeah. All the, all the killers in Dead by Daylight, when they turn into like their monstrous killer form in the, like in the game, they they have like a form or powers that kind of represent how they like became terrible people, but the trapper just has it's just <laughs> random. Like the the nurse is like she's 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 like you could hear her like gasping and groaning as she goes around, and it sounds like someone who's being choked, right? Yeah, yeah. Really? Whenever you have the ability to go through walls, you hear her gasping. It's like she's like she's like <gasps> whatever, and then she goes. Right, and and then the plague obviously is vomiting everywhere, but she uses yeah. that as an attack. Evan is just <laughs> Evan just does what he wants to do. I, I think I think the only sound effect that I've ever heard him make was when he steps in his own traps and go. <laughs> Classic Evan. Classic the everybody the Evan grunt. Oh, okay. that was good. Great, I I'm a man with many voices. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, okay. yeah, I know, hey man, I'm just, I'm just trying to fill my own silence. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I'm just trying to just trying to save myself here. Yeah, like, uh, who, who's your killer? Yeah, so I wanted to talk about the blight, uh, and um, I don't know. He, I yeah, the feel steroid like, user. Oh yeah, hey man, Sonic Speed all the way, all the way. Um, he's he's probably my favorite killer for just the fact that his lore just really ties in with the whole you know, dead by daylight realm lore in general uh so because up until him um you know obviously all the killers that we've talked about have had lore and you know pertaining to their own realms but when the blight got introduced you know he kind of was that gateway to connect the whole why everything's here and the reason the killers and survivors are all brought to this place, right? Anyways, yeah. uh, his backstory is really extensive. I'm going to try my best to, like, shorten it. But he's basically, um, you know, at a young age, he was, like, you know, very optimistic and, you know, loved, like, science. And anyways, 
he grew up to be, you know, a world famous alchemist trying to find, you know, scientific discoveries greater than his own. Long story short, uh, met up with some monks that he had that promised them promised him, uh, you know, the secrets of the universe kind of thing, and he got you know greedy for power and and knowledge, and they basically tricked him in a way to for their own experiment, and. Mm. Uh, the, I think, uh, at a certain point he was, you know, knocked cold, like knocked out cold and they were, he was brought to kind of dungeon area where the monks injected him with some sort of serum, not, not the serum that we know, or it could be, I'm not really sure, but the stupid soldier serum. Super yes. soldier serum. Of course. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. Chris uh, Evan. <laughs> so, Chris Evan confirmed blight, <laughs> but yeah, no, he, he, it's it's yeah. Evan. Oh, mm. Mm, never thought about that, did you? Ah, um, yeah, he <laughs> basically at that point had a a vision. I think the entity was telling him, you know, we can make a deal. Like if you do my bidding, I will give you what you've been looking for, and. Actually, what he was, I forgot to mention what he was looking for was that flower or the serum that we kind of know in the game, that orange stuff. So uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, the entity, oh, sorry, not the, the blight is one of, is actually the only killer that um, communicates with the entity on a regular basis. And uh, well, what, do you, what, what do you mean by that, though? Like, like in between so, trials, he like sits there and talks to him or like during yeah, the match so, he's like like mentally talking to him hey man ed how's uh, it going you know <laughs> <laughs> uh, well you know what it, it basically almost kind of is like that uh it um when sorry i'm trying to click my words uh <laughs> so off the game or off the what do you call it like the the round or, trials or Trials, yeah, the trials. Outside of the trials, the entity promised the Blight that he could continue his research and have access to everything he needs in this world as long as when it's time for a trial, you do my bidding for you, basically, right? So mm. um, the cool part is that it kind of uh, interacts with the other killers and it kind of proves that when we're not playing the game, there is a world going on beyond in the background that we don't know about you know so like last thing i just wanted to say was um blight has performed experiments on other killers or used some of their weapons so for example daniel the plague the blight has used her vial or her vomit for experiments and and as, as an ingredient for other things right that's so like which, actually really is that why the trapper doesn't have explosives <laughs> yes. like use them all <laughs> the blight basically don't even evan thing away actually yeah, it's actually really evan. cool the there was an event there was an event that happened um i think last year i can't i could be mistaken but something called the hollowed blight uh event for dead by daylight and uh, um the trapper there's actually a cut scene where you could see talbot grimes which is uh, hey guys that, that's his name talbot that's forgot to mention that in the talbot's game. cooler than oh, like, sally and evan <laughs> yeah but anyways la last thing i just wanted to say was uh he performed an experiment on the blight to give him the serum that the blight uses which at that event killers and survivors I don't know how the survivors got it, but uh, killers were able to use the blight serum for themselves because in the background, blight's like, you know what? I'm gonna just inject all of you with this stuff, and you could become speedy for a day. So you know, you could all become sanic speed. <laughs> oh, that's Castlevania. Never mind. Uh, I can't. Yeah, that's <laughs> never mind. <laughs> oh wait, that's Mario Kart. <laughs> that's Mario. <laughs> oh wait, why are we blanking on its theme song? We always sing it. Oh my gosh. Anyway, Sonic but... Hero. Hero. <laughs> oh man, yeah, but, that's uh, pretty interesting though. That's really cool, and that's that's basically the blight right there. Um, he's interacted with other killers like uh, the Doctor. And yeah, I think like my some... killer. Yeah, can you see you see that little transition there? I did. Yeah. All Mark Segway. Oh yeah. All right. So the Doctor, or known as Herman Carter. 
Herman! Oh, come yeah. now. <laughs> so come got... now with Herman. I, I, okay, you, okay, guys, sorry. Before Kenny continues, debate. Herman is cooler than Evan or Evan cooler than Herman? All right, all right. I, I'm not saying anyone has a bad name, but they're both terrible for killers. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Evan. We'll, we'll, we'll leave Sally out of this for now. <laughs> Just Evan and Herman. Herman is like on the level of Sheldon or like Eugene. Actually, that's true. Honestly, it's on that same level. Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> if your name was Eugene and you're watching this podcast, we apologize. Also, Evan or Herman. No, if you're Evan, you've already lost that life. Sorry, bud. <laughs> if you're Evan, just. Just leave. Um, or, or don't. I'm. I'm not that mean. Just you know what I mean. Mm. Anyways, Kenny. Uh, <laughs> so Herman was a brilliant, brilliant person. Apparently. <laughs> True. Like me. Yeah, a little, a little <laughs> different than you, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. So Herman was in. Herman got accepted to Yale. Yeah, I didn't get that. <laughs> and one of his one of his projects, one of these classic projects we all have, is to torture your other classmates to get information. You know, we've all had that project oh, yeah. before, right? Had countless times. Yeah, so, you remember that project? Yeah. <laughs> and so Herman did this for over a week. He tortured his he tortured his his uh, his classmates using electricity, which is where his powers come from. Uh, is where his shocking comes from. Yeah. He uses it to warp their minds. Mm-hmm. And but apparently that was not the project. Apparently it was just an it was a job interview, for the CIA, one of those classic uh, jobs. The old, the old switcheroo. Yeah, I, we, I we all had that job interview. That. We all had that job <laughs> interview. It's oh, go torture this person. Damn. <laughs> McDonald's hiring is insane these days. <laughs> yeah, it is. Hundred <laughs> percent. And he worked for the CIA for years. Again, torturing people as he does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Using electricity. And then one day he mysteriously vanished. This is what people think it's what he brought him to the, the realm. Oh. oh. So he really had like no big lead up. It was more like he was living his life. That's how things is too. Like, he, he, was, well, he more just lived his life and just liked, and he, he had this thing, tortured people for a week and enjoyed it pretty much. He was doing his job. Yeah. I think, I think with the entity, I think the, the, at which you enter the realm i mean this is like my theory is that when you've committed like the most heinous crime and it's actually the reason why maps are the way they are the reason why we go to like auto havens or the mcmillan estate is because those are memories of events that were like the most heinous at that moment so yeah but like for like the plague what was her crime she just i think I think they took her. Her. I mean, temple. cutting people's toes off is not. No, <laughs> she cut her own toe right. off. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it, was, it was a self cut. It, it was a self toe. They should really put an Easter egg in that game where, like, if you go into the Temple of Purgatory or whatever her map is, like, if you look at one of the lockers, there's just like a toe, like, on the floor. Or, or if you zoom in on her, she's just missing a toe. <laughs> Maybe she does have that. Maybe I'm. I'm curious to see find that out. I guess we'll put on screen if she does. I don't know. Yeah. That to the uh, editing team over there, you know. Maybe Clown has it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you never know. I mean, he he had that kind of fetish. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> Kalichi, you had a new uh, vision for a killer, right? <clears throat> Into next episode. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. Next <laughs> topic. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh gosh, don't search up does the plague have a missing toe on Google Images. Why? I never <laughs> thought don't do it. <laughs> Just don't. I all implore right. you. After that we've gone through all the killers now. Uh I'm kind of curious to see what you guys have in mind for you know future installments i know recently uh march 30th i think it was like literally yesterday the new killer came out the trickster oh, the guy with the bunch of knives right yeah man yeah, the k-pop so, singer uh, <laughs> yeah you know you know what despite having mixed feelings about it the trailer that they came out with 
was kind of cool. They actually made it kind of like an anime style. That was cool. I don't know how I feel about the killer itself though, but I like the trailer. The, the trailer I can knives. appreciate. Yeah, that's way too many knives. But I, I wanted to ask you guys, um, for you know, speaking of like new killers and future installments, any killers that you would like to see like come in or, or yes. your own creations? Yes, I got one. So go uh, Kalishi. In 2019, there's a horror sci-fi movie made by James Gunn. You know? Got it made, Guard in the Galaxy. Yeah. Right? He made a movie called Brightburn, all right? And there's a kid uh, yeah. named Bryson Byer, or Briar. And he's essentially Superman. And you know the whole <laughs> Superman idea? You go yeah. click on your planet, foes come to Earth. Yeah. So he comes to Earth, crash lands in a farm. Tori and Kyle Briar find this baby boy in a spaceship. Same as Superman. They'll let us take care of him, blah, blah, blah. Little yeah. did they know, once he learns to get his superpowers, instead of being the righteous... Good boy of America, he's like, I'm gonna do sinister things, and he starts being evil, starts killing people, starts flipping cars over, crazy stuff. He shoots his dad through the face, his heat vision. He picks his mom up into the sky and drops it down. Crazy, all right? He's evil, evil. Yeah, so I was thinking him as a killer would be cool because it's an evil suit, man. That's pretty cool. And like, yeah, pretty, design, pretty cool. This game already does broken killers. Yeah, I yeah. mean, his, his design as a in the movie looks pretty cool. I think it'd be sick. I mean, he's a kid, so like he wouldn't be standing. He'd be floating all the yeah. time, be flying around, cool. just, just keep a certain killer height or whatever. Yeah. And I thought that his killer power would be his heat vision. Um, is pretty simple. And I thought that the more he stocks up, stocks the survivors, his meter builds up, and the killer can shoot out his heat vision shoots out faster. So if he like build one one bar or one level, it shoots out like a decent speed. I think it gets like level three or something, and it shoots out like really fast or something. Yeah. And yeah, and like the wind up time gets shorter or whatever. And I thought yeah, that the map would just be brighter, and that's his farm that he lived in. And okay, um, oh, that'd be kind of cool. Some survivors, Wait, they, they, they're pretty a uh, uh, farm like level, you know? Yeah, but that, that's very true. I mean, brighter is just a house, and, so <laughs> maybe maybe they could they could play it off. As like uh, it could be a skin of the first map, like they make it look different, but the same thing. Yeah, like just like a different, a different type of farm. Maybe like not so much like because I know the original one, like that we play on now, like has a lot of uh, like cornfields. Mm -hmm. yeah. So maybe they could do something. Then again, if you take away the cornfields, there's not that much place to hide, or you could you could <laughs> just see across a field. You know, <laughs> imagine just seeing like the the. The killer just in front of you, like from a distance. Oh, hey, how's it going? I'm gonna get you. All right. Hey guys, Evan here. I was just wondering. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering if you'd let me hit you. Uh, no. Oh, come on, guys. Oh, come on, guys. I thought we were buds. No, get out of here, Evan. Jeez. And then Evan steps in his own trap, and then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so, yeah, I think that, that, that'd be cool as a killer but like you, you know how freddy krueger in his bio it kind of says that like the entity had to nerf some of his powers to make it fair to the survivors <laughs> oh, for nerf? Real? Like, yeah yeah so they you yeah. could literally do the same thing the entity could have like basically nerf him so he's on more even playing field with survivors oh, okay yeah that makes more sense maybe maybe they like and nerf his super strength that's why he doesn't just go through all Policy. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. Right. Yeah. Hey. Kill. And then some survivor just his parents, Tori and Kyle. <laughs> but that's what his parents that he like dropped out of the sky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I I like how like the the fact that his parents would be the survivors, like their child is literally trying to murder them. Like, like, get <laughs> over here. Messed up. What the heck? Yeah. I mean some perks are made as well, but it's like it means pretty simple ones, like shorter wind up um, laser time. The wind up, the meter bit off faster, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, that's my cool. One, one cool one was like when he hits us, he can track them. Like how the hunter does the same thing. If he hits the axe, he can see him through walls or whatever. Oh, with the laser, like his heat yeah, vision? yeah, if, yeah. If he, hits, yeah. If he hits someone, he can track them through walls for a short. Period. Oh, is the heat vision not a a one shot? Not, I know, but that'd be that'd be kind of that'd be kind of broken. <laughs> Well, if you have to charge the meter up, then okay, maybe, maybe I love maybe I max love it to be one shot, but like, like with an iridescent uh, add-on or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But like, if it's like the first level, it'll be like down. Or yeah. 
Yeah, that'll be uh, a good one. Nice. Uh, I'll, uh, yeah. How about you, Daniel? Any any uh any new killers you want to see or uh? What do you yeah, have in mind? yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So my first thought was Pennywise, but I didn't choose him because I thought everyone oh. would choose Pennywise, and then nobody chose I, Pennywise. <laughs> I have to say, I have to say, uh, if funny enough, yeah, agreed. Even though we all we all wanted to do Pennywise, I, I think he would be a cool killer to add to the game. But anyways, continue, continue. Yeah, so what I actually chose was uh, the Gremlins from Gremlins. Nice. And uh, I, I thought that their killer name, because you know all the killer names basically, even though it's like uh, Freddy Krueger, they call him the Nightmare or whatever. Right, yeah. So he'd be called, they'd be called the Imps. And, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. So I know there's like a main gremlin in each movie, but I in in my mind the killer is five gremlins stacked on top of each other, and they're like That's kids nice. in a trench coat. So the gremlins would be wearing like a big trench coat and like a like a an old timey hat. Because yeah. you know they're kind of like goofy in their movie and stuff. So I feel like that's didn't something they, they would do. You'd be able to, they do that at one point like in one of the movies. In in the. F- First Gremlins movie, one of the Gremlins uh, like has a trench coat and like opens it for the girl, and it's like, lol, I guess. Mm. <laughs> so, anyways, so in in my vision, since it's five Gremlins stacked on top of each other, and I'm assuming they're kind of like unbalanced, right? Because they're in a, in a stack. They start the trial five percent slower than a normal killer, and uh, oh. but they can get faster throughout the trial. So what their power is, is that when they go up to a generator, you, they can release one of the five gremlins into the generator, and it acts as a trap. So the next survivor that goes up to the generator will hear scratching inside. And either you could shine a flashlight at the generator, which will make the gremlin run out, and then they can work on it, or they have to work on it, and it attacks them, and it takes a damage state off of them. I, oh, that is sick. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Now, I know that that like at first might seem a little bit like like broken because you're like, oh, you know, the twins, when the when the when the baby attacks, it goes back to to the the killer. Right. But uh, for for mine, that's not what happens. So once the gremlin is used up, it's gone. And the main gremlin, like the, the one with the five stacked on top of each other can only put three into gens at a time. And then once it does this, there's going to be two fountains on the map. And it could go up to them, and you know water makes gremlins multiply in the movies? Right, right. It could, like, restock itself. But it could only get two per fountain. Oh, that's sick. But it's total, right? Well, five five is what it starts with, right? Mm Mm-hmm. So then it could put three into gens, and from each fountain, it could get two. So in total, throughout the whole trial, it could do seven. It could trap seven gens. Oh, damn, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, anyway. And each time it gets rid of one, it gets a 5% a percent speed bonus, too. So that's how you would kind of get the killer to go faster throughout the trial. <laughs> okay, but when, you know how it, like, it puts a gremlin into a gen won't it get smaller because the stacked up yes, probably yes right? yes that's actually what i was going to mention too as you get rid of them it the killer gets shorter so your perspective gets smaller until when it's just two one on top of the other it's a very short killer okay so, so yeah, wait, yeah wait, that, like that's that. that's okay. interesting so i like that right i think it's pretty cool and since they're weak to light in their movies I made it so that flashlights and firecrackers are two times effective on them. What did that uh, mean? What's, what is two times effective of the firecracker? Like, you, know, you know how a, a stun lasts for so many seconds? Mm-hmm. Oh, it, it, it would double that. Okay, yeah. okay. And it would slow them during it too, twice as slow as normally. Mm-hmm. So then for me, the map I chose for this killer was uh, the Clamp Center from Gremlins 2. Because Gremlins 1 is just, like, a town, and I thought that was kind of boring. Uh, plus, mm-hmm. plus, we already have, uh, um, what's that, uh, Michael Myers map? Myers it's kind of town. like a town. Yeah. L- yeah. Lambkin Lane, that's it. That, that's it. 
Yeah, so I thought that was, that was kind of like boring. So Clamp Center is the building from Gremlins 2, and I thought that it would be a two-floor indoor map, and the top floor is just like office, uh, like offices, right? Because it's an office building. But the bottom floor would be this genetics lab that's in the movie called Slice of Life. And it's, mm. it's, it, it has like a bunch of messed up like animals and stuff inside. I like that. that. I would, you know what? I'm not too into indoor maps, but I would totally play that one. That sounds, that sounds really cool. Yeah, and as you go up to like the walls and stuff, you could hear like the gremlins in the walls like laughing that's, and that's scratching. Cool. And stuff. Yeah. Oh, I love I that. Really I it. love that. Yeah, and and for survivors, I just thought that I would do Billy Peltzer, who's the main guy, with another skin yeah. of Kate Beringer, I think her last name is, and they're they're the same nice. character, and they would have Gizmo the Mogwai on their shoulder. Oh, that would be so cool. You don't see too many like, uh, like little kind of like. What do you call those? Add -ons. Like, yeah, add-ons add -ons to like a kill, like to a survivor. That would be a first, you know. I thought that it would it would be mostly cosmetic. Like as things are happening in the match, he would kind of like react to it. So like if they get hit, he would kind of like look scared, and when they get hooked, he would be like comforting them on the hook. Oh, that would be so awesome! I, you know yeah. what? That would be so cool. At least there'd be something to watch while you're on the hook. Like, yeah. Oh, hey, Gizmo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's what that's what I got. I thought that would be cool, and it's kind of like old, but I think everyone knows what Gremlins is. So, I, I think I think it's it's definitely I think it should definitely be considered to be added to the game because you know it's it's I mean it's not that much older than like Michael Myers, and he's like he's an he's like his first movie was like what nineteen seventy or eight? I don't even I don't even know like it's yeah, so I, I think I think the Gremlins have a good chance uh, to get in, you know. Good. It'd be cool, kind of. My only concern Speaking... is when it gets small. Like, if you're playing as a, you have like lesser vision because like you're tiny. Yeah, I guess it'd be... you you get the benefit of being faster. So you you'd have a a plus ten percent in speed compared to a normal killer. How would pallets work? Pallets. It would work. Like it would it would work the same as any oh. other killer, I guess. Okay. Mm. It, it would work almost like Victor, just like with the twins. Like you could still hit Victor with the pallet. Yeah, you just have to, you just have to be more like vigil about it, I guess. Yeah. Hey, Daniel, my killer is also in the movie too. You know, uh, my killer Annabelle is actually from uh, the Conjuring series. You know, and there's two, there's two parts to Annabelle. There's the doll, and then there's the actual demon that's haunting the doll. So what my, what my first of all, the map is. The movie in The Conjuring has a house that's that's always in the movie, obviously, and yeah. it's, they find the doll there, and I want to use that house as the map. Wait, even are you with talking the about the house outside. where you know in Conjuring the, those two main characters, husband and wife, so about their house? Yeah, the one with the tree in the backyard. From the first one, from yeah. the first Conjuring, from the first oh, one. Okay, why not just use the Annabelle house from the Annabelle movie? You know the Annabelle, like the origin story movie, just like some next church or. No, I like the house because the, oh, the yeah, house, man. the house is where all the stuff happens. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, let me just choose my map, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, no, no, no. Hey, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> hey, I'm just asking. <laughs> yeah, but the, I'm on just the house, and um, it's gonna have multiple ways. Obviously, to go down up the stairs, but it's, yeah. it's cool because in the first movie, that's so many like uh, demonic things that happen, like so many scenes where it's like. It, Annabelle, Annabelle was like a big part in with like the room with all the crosses and stuff like that. Mm. And basically the, the powers for this killer. I I know how uh, BHVR, the developers of Dead by Dale, are like making every killer broken. So um, <laughs> I hey, want hey, to, man, to like uh... keep mine less broken. So uh, what I have... Developers, I still love you. Don't worry. I don't. Anyways, so... <laughs> <Pause. laughs> so for the... Uh, it's going to be similar sort of to Daniel's where the demon has diff has different dolls it can place down and basically you start off with five but you can't get any more you will not okay. be able are you to saying, get any are you are you saying five animal dolls yes five five animal dolls oh, because he's a spirit movie there's just kind of... one though right there's yeah, one doll it's yeah doll. It, it's a it's a spirit though so yeah but in the, in can... this in yeah. this game there's going to be five okay. and basically um 
the demon can put down these dolls and it'll, it'll be kind of hidden so the servers can't see it unless they use like a flashlight to find it mm. or just walk this happen to walk up to like its exact location and basically are you, are you saying it's invisible yeah it's invisible you can't see it unless you're close enough or you flashlight it yeah oh, okay. maybe really close to be like right on top of it in order to okay. see it um but the thing is is that um these dolls are used to as like a power where the doll looks at the survivor say if you place it on it like in front of a gen that if the doll sees the uh survivor working on the gen basically once it takes a certain time so maybe like around a minute if it hits a certain time with the survivor still in the view the demon can actually create like create an illusion and manipulate everybody else so the terrorist goes away and they disguise themselves as that one survivor that's cool oh. so I, I, I think that's a power that they should have like done already yeah mm-hmm. but it's bhvr like, you know like, so. like 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 a killer becoming a survivor or pretending yeah. to be a survivor yeah yeah and basically all the dolls work together so it's like it's like this uh it's like a big total bar so if see if the the survivor just passes by it the total time that's seen it adds up to the total bar up to where the demon can actually manipulate everybody else and be that survivor and then once mm. he once he uh, hits the survivor, basically that effect wears off. Okay, and, that's, uh, that's, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, w- the one thing that I liked to use because of this killer is because uh, the, the killer is known to ha- to create illusions as well. So that's why I thought that would be a very good uh, option to give it in the power, you know? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I didn't want to make it sick. And I wanted to make Place it kind of it balanced, is. so I didn't want it to be like too much. But if we're <laughs> actually being realistic, they're gonna add something. So if they were to add something, they'd probably give it something where it could like teleport to, to work. <laughs> teleport. <laughs> teleport for no reason. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> teleport. I mean, it's got. I mean, technically, you can, she has like she can do that with like illusions and stuff like that. I mean, what yeah. you could do is you, she could teleport to the dolls if she has five and she could place them all down. She could yeah. teleport yeah, could to each doll. Oh. Yeah, that's a good idea too. Because I, 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 kind of, I like it. You, you know, I think I, I've mentioned this before, but I think it would be sick if for the map, since it's just a house and it's pretty small, if all the survivors were doll sized and like it's a house, but everything's like huge. You oh, know? yeah. That would cool? be awesome. That would be awesome. At least that would give oh, us would more cool. running space. I mean, the killer would be that small too. It's just yeah, basically like, map every, every everyone just, every, the map is just bigger in scale. Yeah. 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 That would be. That's really cool. I I really like that. Annabelle yeah. turned out to be a pretty sick killer. You know. Uh, yeah. Without yeah. the dog. Let's workshop it, boys. <laughs> Let's go. Fan made creation. So so far, out of all of our movies, all of them have been for movies so far. How about yours, Alec? Is yours also from a movie? I'm gonna cut the cord and say no. Cut Mine the is not. Cord. <laughs> Mine is not from a movie. Uh, it is actually from one of the most famous uh, horror games. If you want to, it's a horror game, right, Daniel? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it's, it's definitely a horror, horror game. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the world famous Five Nights at Freddy's. I would like to see Springtrap enter the game. And for for you uh, Five Nights at Freddy's fans, you know who that is. If you don't, stop watching. <laughs> or Damn, listen. I, Any- I, I, I don't know who it is, honestly. Oh, I'm sorry, Kalichi. <laughs> well, Kalichi, st- uh, mute yourself. Stop no, listening. Okay, goodbye, guys. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, it's all good. All good. So um, basically, yeah, I would really like to see Springtrap. I'm just going to go on a... A legend say that everybody knows who Springtrap is, but mm-hmm. for Kaliji, um, you know, uh, he's basically one of the animatronics that appears in Five Nights at Freddy's Three, uh, playing host to the soul of the murderer, of the you know the whole series and stuff like that. Uh, he, I, I chose him specifically because I find his suit and his appearance to be the most frightening out of all of them. He's like a golden bunny costume that's kind of been like 
Ornan, you know, just beaten, that's just just wrecked. It's uh, like deteriorating because it's been sitting there for like thirty years. How like yeah, one and, and, year, one year like ripped yeah. off or something. Yeah, it's just really freaky to think about, and like, I think it would really play nicely with the whole spookiness of Dead by Daylight. You know, it's just it's playing host to like a murderous soul that's just re- on you know just out for blood. You know, that, that that's totally Dead by Daylight right there. You know. So, yeah. Um, I thought his map would be the either one of two locations. I was thinking maybe two. They could add two maps for this uh, for Spring Trap. One being the one from Five Nights at Freddy's Three, the haunted attraction, uh, and which is uh, probably like a one level, maybe maybe a basement level as well, uh, indoor map, and then uh, just the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's like uh, the Fast Bears Entertainment. Just I know yeah. he has, was never like in that game, but I mean he's it's still, still part of the same story and stuff like that. So. He he was in Pizzeria Simulator, which is a a version of the original Fazbear. Oh, Fazbear Pizza. You know what? You know what I'd actually kind of like to have uh, the Pizzeria Simulator map because I I actually out of most of the games I loved uh, watching or or just playing uh, Pizzeria Simulator. You know it, it had such a it's almost like it brought everything together, but I would have wanted sister location, but I'm biased. Anyways, you you could continue. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go. Uh, and sister, oh man, sister location is great. But yeah, back to DVD. <laughs> um. So yeah. Um. I would. I was thinking it's. Uh. His name would be the Salvage. I know. Like it's kind of like because if you've ever played sister. Uh. Sorry. Uh. Pizzeria Simulator. Um. There's a you know a part of the game where you as the night guard. Um, have to kind of claim things as either salvage or throw it back into the alleyway. And the salvage would be, you know, the old animatronics making its way back to your location. So I just thought calling him the salvage would be kind of cool to have. Um, yeah, it's a good name. Yeah. Uh, as far as its works, I had all of them prepared, but I'm honest, just to be honest, I forgot what I... <laughs> had for him but uh one of them would i do remember one of them which would be called i'm thinking about calling it uh power outage and basically what spring Trap does is uh at a certain point kind of like a timer or i'm not sure how it would activate either with a timer or based on the amount of generators you finish uh maybe one for one uh oh no sorry i remember now i remember what i, I wrote time Springtrap hooks a survivor, he gets a token. And with that token, he can shut off the entire power of the stage you're playing on, which means that you cannot work on generators, you cannot open exit gates, uh, black locks, which are the uh, uh, the hatch. Uh, basically, you can't do anything. And the way to restore power is trying to find a randomly spawned a breaker switch and turning it back on kind of acting like you know um freddy krueger's like clock how it kind of re- uh, spawns somewhere in the map you could see it you just have to get to it you know how many would there be because i feel like i would support people to camp because if i'm, yeah, I'm I, freddy uh, i just black out and camp the only one and i basically it would win be, it, it would be it would be um i feel like it would be one because at the so what would happen was to balance it out, survivors can see the breaker switch. Uh, it would be highlighted. At the same time, though, the advantage for Spring Chap would be he gets an increase in speed and his auditory uh, sensors are like, like extremely heightened. So he could sense a distance, like where it'll give him like an auditory warning where someone is, and then rush to rush to you. Not as fast as the blight. We're not talking like super speed, but just fast enough to make it so if like two survivor if you and the survivor at equal distance as as spring trap you know you could easily outrun him to the breaker switch if you're like at an equal distance like let's say you're both on one side of the map he'll get there before you but he he can't see the thing is that he can't see the breaker switch only like so it's basically it's his chance to go and find any survivors at an increased pace you know yeah. Anyways, so that's the, okay. So uh, it, it works based on tokens. So sorry, yeah, what do you have to do to get the tokens? 
uh, basically, uh, you just hook a survivor, and every time you hook a survivor, you gain a token. So let's say like we're we're playing, I hook somebody, and then I gain one token. Once I use that token, power goes off and uh, the token goes away. I only regain a token for every survivor I hook. And no matter how many survivors I do hook, only one token. So you can cleverly uh, kind of use it to your advantage where at the end, if all survivors have finished a generator, you can cut off power so they can't leave right away. They'll have to find yeah. the breaker switch before opening the gates again you know yeah so it's a that's kind of i had two others i can't really remember what exactly they were but as far as like a, I wanted to talk about is mori which i kind of thought was really cool if springtrap you know brings a, a mori what he would do was would be putting you in the same fate as he did taking out uh, or putting you into a spring lock suit and basically you on the floor and letting the spring lock kind of close in on you and and then like you just kind of like you know get crushed within the suit and the cool thing would be is that like it would stay on you so if sur your fellow survivors would walk by they just kind of like see you in a freddy fazbear costume or bonnie or chica or whatever i think that'd be sick all right all right uh but, yeah that's basically i like to see spring trap and a lot of fans like a lot of people I feel like I have good hopes that he's going to be added soon because there's so many fan-made trailers ready for him. There's so much... There's actually a petition going on to get a spring trap in. And it's funny enough that <laughs> when the trickster was added, some of the comments on Dead by Daylight's IG was like, damn, they had this guy, but we've been asking for a spring trap for so long. <laughs> it's like, damn. <laughs> but uh, sp Speaking of the movies you know since i'm the odd one out there there is one last killer that <laughs> outranks <laughs> us all oh, you know, as far as power <laughs> and sheer might kenny would you like to take it away yeah i pick i picked chucky yeah. oh. great uh, yeah i figured i figured one of his skins could also be taffy his, her, his wife in the yeah that's one. cool uh it, it should be a son you could have <laughs> both be, be, yeah you could have multiple <laughs> true, true. Chucky has a son. Uh, yeah, surprisingly. <laughs> yeah, I figured his name could be the doll, just because he's that's what he is. And yeah, they need a clever yeah. name. <laughs> what, what would Sinrix be if uh, the demon? Is that what it would be? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the yeah. other doll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the second doll. Yeah. Second My killer's doll. mainly space is speed. I want him incredibly <laughs> fast. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Five times the survivor movement speed. <laughs> I, I, I want him twice as fast as the Legion. Oh my god. I want him small no. and fast. <laughs> yes. No. The only the only downside is is if he is if when he's dragging somebody, he's slower just because he's a smaller guy. Okay, so that's the that's the only that's the only drawback. So <laughs> whenever yeah. he's not whenever he doesn't have a, a, a survivor, he's blitzing around this around the map. Yes. He's just, and when he does, <laughs> he's just, he's just slower. Yeah, when he's dragging you to your hook, he's slow. Okay. He's got like he's not able to pick you up. He has to like drag you against the ground. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Yeah, I was thinking for his map, this would be a cool little like almost like sneaky like scary map. Is you guys are almost in a toy store slash like toy factory, and all all around the shelves are just uh, Chucky dolls. What? Oh, all sick. around you. Like like the first oh, movie, cool. right? Yeah. Yeah, so you don't know, like you, you, you might, you might have thought you saw a move, but you're not entirely sure. It might have just been a doll there, like. Oh, would would the dolls move in the map too? Like Did slightly, they... they'll like tilt their heads, kind of thing. Okay, okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, just to give the illusion that oh, it might be kind of thing. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah. I was thinking that. I was thinking he could like like he can. All his perks are gonna be increasing his speed as well. <laughs> Did everything to make him faster? Yes, I want I want him to just be a blur as he runs across the screen. <laughs> Yo, what was that? that Dude, fast. it goes again. Yeah. How, how you, 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 you put the, the, the fact that you have to double of, check that yeah. everyone on the shelf is not a doll, like you're gonna need slightly tilt its head. By the time you realize it's actually him, you're dead. <laughs> That'd be oh, sick. <laughs> I would be like, Alec, behind you. No, clearly behind you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wait, behind both of us. He's just so fast. He's just behind, like, all of us. 
Sonic. Wait, so what did your game plan be? Just don't <laughs> pick up anyone. Just down everyone because you're so fast. That's all the back of Yeah, that'd be a way. <clears throat> yeah, but that, that's my thing. Is I just want to complete speed, small would, speed. Would it be faster than the hillbilly when hillbilly uses yeah. his chainsaw? Definitely. <laughs> yes, definitely. His his base speed <laughs> no or his, his base speed? <laughs> yeah, I want. Like I said, I want him twice as fast as the Legion. Wait, 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 like, what's, like, what's his killer ability? That that's the thing. Is it just speed? He just speed bursts and all that. So he has no ability. He's just that fast. <laughs> yeah, because well, when you when you're that fast, you don't need to put a trap down or anything. It, that can be a double edged sword <laughs> if you think about it. Because if you're close range with them, you can you might be able to juke me easier. <laughs> It don't matter, but mm, Cedric, let's depends. say let's see working on a gen, right? And then you mess up one time, you're like, damn, ah, he's outside the map, not gonna catch me. Two seconds, he's in front of me. <laughs> he's there. <laughs> well, uh, don't mess up. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's so broken. Or, or run right. a technician or something. <laughs> but even at the end, if we, whenever we, even if we kind of open our doors, he'll be on both sides, both doors. <laughs> Pretty much simultaneously. <laughs> Yeah, that that's what I want. It's just complete, just small and fast. Just Kenny, the chainsaw sprint. I'm I'm looking at this right now. I'm according to what I'm reading is twice his speed. So you're saying <laughs> Chucky's normal speed is twice of is the same as the chainsaw sprint? It's faster than yeah. then he can, faster. Then he can go faster. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yes. I want this to be the completely most unfair character that's just <laughs> sprinting around, <laughs> slicing everyone. Wait, how small is he? <laughs> like, I, I was thinking, I was thinking like the twin, the other half of the twin. I forget his name. Hector, I think it is. Uh, how big, big is that Victor? Or Victor. Know. How big is it? I don't know. Is it like small, small? Or like, yeah, he's like small like... kind of thing. Can you see it coming at least? You can see him coming, but like, you gotta, like, you're not looking up. You're looking down kind of thing. Okay. So, Chucky, you'll see it coming at, at blazing fast speeds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's I feel like, I think, I think he's, like, half, like, compared to a survivor, like, probably, like, like the height of, like, your knee, like, up to your, or maybe, like, up, yeah, like. I think that's Victor's size as well. Like he's only like yeah. up to a survivor's like knee a, or something. And like if that. it hits you, it does the same normal damage. Two hits yeah. to get down. Two hits uh, get yeah. down. <laughs> okay. I feel like it'd be cool if Chucky, like, like uh, maybe a drawback for him would be like when he goes to a hook, it takes him twice as long to try and hook somebody because he's Fair so enough. short. Fair enough. Yeah, like or that's the thing. Like a slow, like kind of like he has to like fling you up, kind of thing. Or how about he has to hit you like three times instead of two or something. That that that's that's the that's the update later when they have to nerf him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Kenny's already got him planned out. Yeah, that's that's the two months. That's that's after the two months, the inevitable nerf down of these characters. That's what it's gonna be. Can, <laughs> you, can you hit him like you can hit Victor? No, you can't. <laughs> you you can you can like, uh, the, like pallets take pallets stun him for twice as long. Wonderful. Okay. So I have to basically time a bullet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. You know what would be really funny. If if Chucky like I'm not I'm not gonna say it obviously because of the podcast but like it'd be funny if like if you hit him with a pot like a pallet he like swears I don't know if they put that in the game <laughs> like 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 no, no, they, no, they, they can have a, they can have him mumble something under his breath killer don't yeah try. like oh rig it, rig it, rig it. But people, the, the yeah. whole killer is built for knocking you down but I feel it'd be hard to play because you gotta get used to the speed yeah but once yeah, you get used somebody, to the speed if, if you're a you're, you're, player, you're, you're, it's done instantly yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, imagine, imagine studying the game and you use, um, what's that perk that lets that, you know, the, the first gen in front of the survivors are blocked off. So they have to come too close to the, to the killer. Oh my gosh. And so starts, you're like, oh no, they're blocked off. You walk up to the middle, he's there. Sprint, sprint burst would be irrelevant. Oh yeah, yeah. no point. <laughs> you dash forward and then he just keeps going. I was going to yeah. argue, I wonder what would be, firecracker would be good, because you drop firecrackers, then you just stop running, and he just keeps on going. What do you mean? He'd be, he'd be over, he'd be across the map by the time the firecracker hits the ground. Uh, right when you spawn in, he can come to you. That's what it is. As soon as you spawn, he's like, hey guys. It'd be funny, though, if you could, like, use it, he, uses that, like he uses that thing where he spawns closest to you guys. <laughs> it'd, it'd be funny, it'd be funny if, like, you could land the firecracker, like, perfectly and it just sends chucky flying like oh <laughs> Kenny, what's his mori 
I figure it's more you just be like he like jumps up and like slashes you a whole bunch of times like across across the body as he like sprints around your body almost like crawls around your body. Like a I, I spider. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of like that. Kind of like just like a spider. He's like crawling around your body, like cutting. That's kind of, oh, that's, that's cool. cool. Wait, Kalichi, yeah. Center, did you guys say what your Morris would be? I didn't. I mean, mine could just be. It might either he picks you up and drops you down like did to his. That's cut be. <laughs> uh, long I want that. <laughs> or I mean, in the movie, he shoots his dad through the face with the TV. So, gosh, oh, sh- he can that have sounds like something they would actually do. I, I think, I think he the one have- with them picking you up and dropping down, is that the best one? The animation is just too long. Yeah, unless like, like, like he picks you up, flights up really quick, and then the body hits the ground. I, I, I like, yeah, the, I like, like the camera doesn't move. The camera stays static, and he just sees it. You just see picking you, and you, you kill it. You, you, the, the, the body, the player, just drops down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. With with mine, um, with mine, the camera like gets off of like the view out of view for like the the demon itself and the survivor, and then you just see the doll, and then you see like a blood splatter, and that's it. Oh, yeah, so the camera just pans over to the doll's face, and the blood splatter hits the doll, and that's it. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Kind of cool. Because in the movie, the Annabelle just the doll always just sitting there looking at you. You're supposed to be scared. Yeah, that's sick. Like, I'm yeah. just gonna think my Kenny's killer. I mean, it has no perk. It has, it has no um. Ability. No, for Kenny's killer, the the more is too fast. You don't even see it. Yes. <laughs> Kenny killer it has no ability, so it's just a normal M1 killer. Yeah, it's just normal M1. It's just speed. It just <laughs> what are its what are its perks? Just it makes it go faster. That's so right. Yeah, it's just, if you like injure players, it goes faster, kind of thing. <laughs> no, okay, no, don't tell me that. What no, is no. the max speed you can get with like the best add ons? I feel like the max speed with the best add ons, you'd be like f- three to four times faster than a, a killer. How can you four times faster than a hillbilly using his, his chainsaw? No. Yeah. <laughs> That's right? so unreasonable. Really oh, yeah, killer. this, this killer, I would hate to play against this killer, but. <laughs> Don't be broke. Instead of having an ability, you know how people have the they have like a red perk for the ability, whatever. Yeah, yeah. He has like a red perk. <laughs> red red him... perks is sprint burst. Red no, perk no, would be like a sprint burst. It lets him vault over pallets <laughs> instantly. You just we'll give, we'll give him... You know, you ready? The the survivor jumps over. You look back. Chucky <laughs> jumps over. It too. We'll give it. We'll give him two. We'll give him like a sprint burst plus the ability to like jump over pallets. <laughs> Why is he so fast? He's jumping through windows, jumping over pallets. You can't get away from. <laughs> that, that, that is if you can get to a pallet in time. <laughs> no, the pallet oh. already drops. So you you just go through it. So instead of, yeah. instead of him kicking it, he just jumps over it. So, so instead, he slides he, under it. That's that's yeah, what. Yeah. That's yeah. What <laughs> so, so if he if he jumps over slides under, he he can't break pallets because there's no need. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he goes there's through no it. <laughs> Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode, guys. Thank you for tuning in. If you like what you heard today, please feel free to subscribe or follow us on Spotify, Instagram, and YouTube. Uh, So we'll see you next time.